This is YouTube channel, Greylock Horror, in case you guys want to check more of his content out. I've seen the homies uh Immortal Marcus and Dumb Love and Landry jump on these. So let's see how they let's see how let's see. Let's see what this is all about, y'all. Let's see what all this is about. I hope you guys brought your snacks. Yo, delicious, scrumptious snacks. How does it go? Primary systems online. Meeting sequence complete. Emergency shutdown protocols disengaged. System was offline for time code 0106. All right. Contact technician for assistance. Welcome to Serial Dime USA Enhanced Access Operations. Please enter your clearance credentials. Okay. Error. These credentials are not recognized. So I'm, I'm guessing this is like the view from a camera? Clearance credential requirement overridden. Administrator privileges granted. Welcome back. I'm on user ID. What would you like to do? Accessing archival storage form. GBS. What's this? What is all this? Is this some code word? Data extraction oh. initiated. Let me see what that's all about. Fatal error, camera. Okay, so this is the view from a camera. Okay. But what, is, what kind of place is this? Data extraction initiated. Data extraction, ten percent complete. Data extraction, four complete. Is it downloading something or uploading something? Data extraction, 80% complete. Data extraction, complete. All data extracted to, error, no Dear believers, when men pursue evil... What the hell just happened? <laughs> That's my basement? <laughs> what the hell just happened? What was the end? You guys, did you guys see the ending on that? Hold on. It just switched right next to the next video. Uh, no. What is this? Dear believers... It had like some kind of it had like some kind of brand like like a like a company brand or something. Let me see. Maybe the the name of this place. Let me see. What's that? Um, Sim Simto Dine USA. So I'm guessing it's a company. Com maybe that's maybe it's a facility for that it's a laboratory. I don't know. I don't know, right? <laughs> Tape number two. Tape number two to the mountain. Mm. Route to the mountain. Yo, what's up, anxiety over ho. So what's good? How you doing today? Okay, that's switched to the next video. What's cool? Yes, like I didn't even know. I didn't even know what happened. I was like, what the hell? All right, let's, we back at it again, guys. Let's go. Tape number two. Tape number two. Dear believers, okay. when men pursue evil, it is evil that they will find. Mark my words, there is no good that can come from the pursuit of darkness. Let me read to you, dear believer, the words of the late, brilliant Charles Spurgeon, who discussed this at length in a sermon all the way back in 1864. He said, quote, Our adversary, the devil, goes about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. We are taught by our Lord Jesus to pray. Do not lead us into temptation, but that? deliver us from the evil one. What we are taught to seek or shun in prayer we should equally pursue or avoid in action. Like, was this made Therefore, should we on, endeavor on some to kind of software, or was this actually recorded live? It okay, looks, it looks really good. So that we Very may good. never be guilty of tempting the devil to tempt us. We are not to enter the thicket in search of the lion. We may pay dear. the same video right okay i thought it switched our again i'm like hold on all right it's giving me some blair witch project vibes okay okay Thank you for scarring my mind. Thank you. Oh, 
What the hell am I watching right now? <laughs> I'm trying to process exactly what we're seeing. Like, why did he come out here? Where are we right now? So, so they got like a blood trail, but who the hell is that? That's a tree, okay? That was somebody. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Anomalies? That's the same tree. Did he did he did he watch this tape and went there or is that a tape right there? Face to face oh, so the, the same tape. Himself. So I'm We're guessing this guy watched this tape and then he decided to go go in that place, or I, don't, I already don't know. Let's just keep going. Matthew chapter 15 verse 19. It says, like, what are we dealing with? Come evil thoughts, murder, adultery, sexual immorality, theft, false witness, slander. There is a shadow, Mister Deep. Deep within our hearts, that looks within great. Our minds, mm -hmm. Definitely spooky as hell. I could never. Don't even know exists within. That I, that's why I can't drive. I, I don't like driving. The you see that? Did you see that? Deaths, dear believer. Guys, and you may tremble before the beast, what is that right there? What is that? On yourself and accept what it is that he bestows upon you. <laughs> I thought, you, I thought we were going to the North Pole. What the hell was that? What the hell was that all about? <laughs> yeah, it's secretly summoning something. Yep, yeah, I think it already did. I should put on my Ghostbuster shirt instead. It's an anonymous, 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 anonymous. It's a phenomenon. Yo, what's up, Sugar Spice? Right now we're reacting to some analog horror. Huh, that was tape two. What was it called again? Hmm. That one's called To the Mountain. Oh, okay, so we're, yeah, we're going up a mountain. Let me see the description real quick. Hold on. Let me see something. Description shows absolutely nothing. March 19th, 2023. Give that a like. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so pretty much what we saw was... Because right here... <clears throat> I'm so sorry, guys. I lost my voice again. Look, right here, you can kind of see... Like, maybe in this view, it was like the point of view from the tape... And then this is like when he found the tape. I don't know. <clears throat> like, is this a tape? Is that it? Is that a tape? It looks like a tape. I'm assuming that's a tape because that's the exact same tree from the video right here. Look, you see, look right here. See, it's the exact same tree. So I'm guessing he went there. Did he go there? That's, I don't know. I thought I saw a face. Yeah. But yeah, it looks like something, maybe a message or a note, a pamphlet, an uh, invite to a pizza club, something. But that was To the Mountain, Tape 2, Greylock. You guys ready for part three? Let's do this, y'all. Let's do this. <laughs> okay, warning. This video cassette is intended for the sole use of Bobby Bobby Alexander Michael Marsh. Subject ID AM091065. If you steal this tape, you will be sued and slapped on the ass damn it all right let's go calm down guys relax i'm not that i feel in this video tape is strictly prohibited if you are in the possession of this tape and then hold on 
If you are not in possession of this tape and are not intent are not the intended viewer, you are required to stop this tape and bring it to a superior officer or your local FBI field officer immediately. So if you know if you guys know anybody that's from the FBI, let them know they'll be watching this, okay? Anyone who is believed to have violated this directive will be subject to interrogation, imprisonment at Guantanamo Bay, a fine of up to five hundred thousand dollars and potential military discharge, if applicable. If you're in the military, then you will be discharged. Mm -hmm. Let well, you guys know, okay? 1993, yep, January 2nd. Yeah, he's looking. He's looking out for Amanda's tapes. You right? Yo, what's up, Trillis Bros? Good. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. You guys ready? Let's go. Okay. Look, guys. Sometimes I watch things that are not supposed to be watched late at night. And welcome to the preconditional protocols and orientation video so, system. So that's why we watch them together. As part of the United States Army Project Stargate. Wait. Unit Unit Thirteen. Preconditional protocol and orientation video system. Tape TF1 unit 13. Okay, so this, this is property of the U.S. Department of the Army. So whatever we watched, maybe it came from the Army. As part of the United States Army, Project Stargate, created in partnership with Simeodyne USA. Simeodyne! That was the ending of the first video. Remember at the end of the, the video, like you just saw like a quick little glance, and I pause it, and it was a Simeodyne USA. So this is this is that same property from the first video. Okay. Dying USA. On behalf of all of us here at Unit 13, congratulations on your selection as one of our testing candidates. Okay. You luckily have a lot of questions, and this video is designed to answer them all. First, let's go over some background information to provide you with the crucial context you'll need for a full understanding of what it is we're doing at Unit 13. Okay. We are sure you've heard plenty of rumors surrounding what it is that we do, but we are willing to bet that most everything you've heard is wrong. Being a highly confidential part of Project Stargate, which you've already been briefed on, Unit 13 studies a revolutionary and promising area of parapsychology, thought forms. If you're unfamiliar with what thought forms are, that's okay. You're in the majority. So the majority, what are okay. Thought forms? What are thought ages, forms? Occultists and spiritualists, Tibetan monks to theosophists, have exercised the creation of what is sometimes referred to as a tulpa, otherwise known as a thought form. A thought form is the manifestation of a person's will, emotion, or other deeply psychologically energized state into a semi-physical form, existing as not only an extension of the person, but as its own independent and sentient entity. Thought forms are also able to be witnessed and experienced by third parties, and are not limited solely to the person who developed them. Thought forms have been formed to serve as familiars, companions, or even friends to those who conjure them. According to key literature, thought forms can be intentionally formed by a single person or multiple people, though they can be unintentionally formed as well. But they are always manifested through the deep will and focus of a person in a considerably heightened state of connectivity with their own consciousness. Traditional thought forms can vary widely in their level of influence in the real world. While they usually take physical formations eventually, their earliest stages are more apparitional in nature, with brief manifestations, though most often remaining as an unseen essence, much like a phantom or a ghost. At this phase, thought forms and ghosts are very similar in a number of ways. Individuals can make contact with them through communication devices, such as So they can have like, like, like an out-of-body experience? Is that what you guys are saying right now? Is that what you guys are saying right now? Is that what you guys are saying right now? Uh, they say either a thought on. Is that the Ouija board? ...devices, such as a Ouija board or through EVP sessions, while the thought form may respond through moving objects, manipulating electronics... Show me a sign! ...words and short phrases. Due to their striking similarities, a current theory established by Unit 13 suggests that what we know as ghosts may not be as common as we once believed. Rather than a deceased person's energy being left behind after death, it's mm. possible, and indeed likely, that these paranormal entities are actually thought forms that are unintentionally created by those individuals that the deceased has left behind, who spend inordinate amounts of time in deeply emotional states, where their mental capacity is largely occupied by a powerful focus on the departed individual. In other words, as these are the ideal conditions from which thought forms are born, people may very well create their own ghosts and hauntings. 
However, as more time and energy is invested into the development of the platform, they begin to harness more influence on their environment, until okay. eventually exhibiting a semi-permanent physical appearance, and, in due course, becoming as tangible as a living creature. This is where Unit 13's interest comes in. We've sought okay, to me? a All right. important question. Can thought forms be created in a manner that would benefit American society and help keep American citizens safe? Unfortunately, the practice of intentionally creating a thought form by traditional methods would undoubtedly take years and years of devout mental training. So, Project Stargate has enlisted a world-renowned authority in thought forms, a man named Dr. Bernard Hayes, to oversee a number of the operations related to Unit 13's work. His participation has been invaluable and has brought fruitful results to the project. Due to Unit 13 and Simeodyne USA's combined efforts, bringing together some of the most prestigious minds in the world, specializing yeah. in the sciences of the human consciousness, with cutting-edge technology and engineering methods, we've created a groundbreaking, proprietary invention. Introducing the Thought Form Manifester. The, the Plat- Thought Form, the thought form Manifester. Truly independent and self-sustaining Thought Form entities from the minds of select, willing to so pretty much you just sit there. So it's like it, it downloads your mind or something. Like, so pretty much it's like if you if you die, your your thoughts stay back in the form of a ghost. Yeah, it's definitely like some SCP type of vibe. And the military the military ended up building this though to speed things up. Manifester. Okay. Thank you. The thought form manifester is able to create truly independent and self-sustaining thought form entities from the minds of select willing participants. Being that they come from the deepest recesses of the human mind, thought forms can appear in virtually any configuration. They could look like a person, an object, an animal, or even something as abstract as the physical representation of an emotion. That being emotions. said, it's recommended to brace yourself before touring the thought form chambers, as thought forms can also take on appearances that could be considered disturbing, like a creature one might see in a childhood nightmare. Oh, no. There's okay. no reason to be afraid, however. All thought forms are docile by nature, and while they may look or behave in a frightening manner, and though they are capable of making physical contact, they pose no threat to humans. Once your session in the thought form manifester is completed, your thought form will be securely transported directly into a containment chamber. Okay. Thought forms are unable to pass through the barrier. They can't do nothing? Okay, good. They will not be capable of causing you any issues. All right. There are some very rare potential, potential side, side effects, effects like what? from your session. These side effects include increased tiredness, loss of balance, dizziness, insomnia, vomiting, episodes of temporary amnesia, and mild hallucinations. Just say death, bro. These That's side it. Effects, if present, will clear Just up within 72 hours of your 72 program, hours and are simply signs of your brain recalibrating to the real world. It is episodes of temporary amnesia sounds scary. Heavy machinery for 72 hours after your session, even if you experience no side effects. None of these side effects should cause you any harm or overt stress. And former testing candidates who have experienced these side effects reported that they were very mild and merely a transient inconvenience. With all of that out of the way, we are looking forward to your participation with Unit 13. As a patient, the thought form manifester has been scheduled. However, there are several required mind exercises as a part of this video system that must be completed prior to your scheduled date in order to prime your consciousness and ensure the highest quality results. Please enter the video cassette labeled TF2, waking your subconscious okay. now. Waking this my is subconscious. The end of this Thank you. Fred. What in the deep blue hell? French size, great show that was. The only science show I ever watched was Bill Nye. Don't judge me, okay, guys? What in the hell? So pretty much we were watching this as a patient, and, and I'm guessing, I'm guessing, maybe, maybe, maybe the person that was in that second tape, maybe that was, like, maybe, like, like, what's it, the, the, the thought form, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Now I'm, I'm just a little bit confused. You know, that's somebody right there? Unexpected unexpected visitor, by the way.
I'm wondering if this is the same guy from the first tape, the one that was driving. What is it? We're behind a closet? Window? Probably do like window blinds, huh? Yeah, it's definitely some window blinds. Creeped out, y'all. So yeah, it's definitely somebody that the, the one with the camera. He's outside of a house right now. I'm guessing he's trying to get trying to see who's the the, the neighbors because the video is called unexpected visitors so who's the visitor is, is it us the person recording is he the visitor okay so now he's taking out the window frame okay okay i'll take a bite out of that Whose house is this? Whose house is this? Yo, how did they make this? It's just like blender, cause it, it it looks real as hell. Like this person went up into that room. Did we cause that, or did we find something that we weren't supposed to? Producer, you, sir, my right, right, writers, my director, director, my friends, and you, the ordinary PP people who made me what I am today. Max Headroom premieres after moonlighting Thanks. tomorrow. Make it love me. Emergency. We interrupt broadcast. our current program at the request of the Massachusetts State Police. This is the emergency broadcast system. This is not a test. All normal broadcasting has been discontinued during the emergency.
This station will broadcast official information, news, and instruction for Northern Berkshire County, Massachusetts, after the following tone. Oh, yeah, man. So I believe maybe whatever was attacking is the um the thought forms. What was it? What was it called again? The the the, the afterthoughts. Yo, what's up, Secret of the Sorlas? How you doing tonight? What are they called? The thought forms? I believe maybe cause remember how they said that they they get sealed up once they get down downloaded or whatever? They get sealed up so that way they don't get out, but maybe they got out. I don't know. Maybe the army's testing it on a small town. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it just went wrong. Maybe it just went wrong. Investigation. Hey. Hell no. No, thank you. But how do they look, though? How do they look? They people? Or are they a little bit... Is that a horse? We're gonna have to start putting heart monitors on during, during these reactions. Shit. <laughs> I choked on my saliva type of vibe. Jesus. Oh gosh. Uh, okay, so so that one was tape for unexpected visit. So I believe whatever those things were came out of that facility or wherever they came from, and they weren't supposed to. That's that's what I'm assuming. And now they've been killing everybody. But why? Maybe their emotions? I don't know. We'll find out more. You guys ready? Tape number five. Not here. Not now. Not anywhere. Not anymore. Not here. Not now. Not anymore. Anywhere. Forever. Let's do this, y'all. Let's do this. Okay. That was creepy as hell, though. That was scared the shit out of me. You're looking at that one, though, too long. Yeah, if I, if I would have heard uh, the, the first... Ah! Nope. Boom, that's it. Right from the front. I wouldn't even I don't even I don't even open up my window. No. Mm -hmm. I don't even open I sometimes I open up during the day. But at night I, I have my Alexa remind me to close my window, okay? Jeffrey, have you closed your, your window at 10 p.m.? Yes. <laughs> yes. Cause the last thing I want is to be to be sleeping and then wake up in the middle of the night with a tall man standing in the corner of my room. Nope. Don't want that. Alright. 
Tape number five. Not here, not now, not anymore. Let's go. Well, hello again, Tiffany. Oh, hi, Wanda. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. No dad this time. No, unfortunately, he couldn't get off work today. So I'm going to have to call him on a payphone to let him know all the details as soon as we're done. <laughs> <laughs> He's excited to be a dad, huh? Oh, yes, he uh, certainly is. We, we both can't wait to be parents. Aw, and you said you've been together since high school, right? Yep. Since that high school. That is so sweet. And have you decided on a name for your baby boy yet? Yep, we're going with Max. Ooh, Max, huh? Mm -hmm. That's a nice, strong name. <laughs> That's why my fiance wanted it so bad. Wait. He says it'll help make him strong right off the bat. Wait, hold on, guys. Hold on one second. Max? Wasn't that the was that the name of this? Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. I thought it was the name of the this guy. Never mind, Alexander. I right. okay. So Max, remember that name, <laughs> yep. Max. We're going with Max. Ooh, Max. Max. Uh, that's a nice strong name. Max. Yo, so <laughs> Steffi. Yo, so Blueberry. How you doing? He says How you doing? Make him strong right off the bat. That's a Max. pretty good way of thinking about it. So Which let's see was how Max. strong little Max is, so you can hurry up and make that call. Yes, please. He's been moving around like crazy the past couple weeks. So I think he's really strong. Strong enough to kick so hard I almost throw up sometimes too. <laughs> Aw, what a wild boy. Activity is good. Yep. Wait, how are we, how are okay, we listening to this? Okay, hopefully this isn't too cold. No, it's okay. Where is she? She's at a hospital or something? Getting checked up? Oh. I'm about to say, are we the baby there feet? Are is. we Max right now? He's Max definitely a growing boy, that's for sure. And you're both looking really good. Aww, so <laughs> cute. I love hearing that. Let's get some measurements to see exactly exactly how much he's grown. <gasps> what was that? Where's the baby? I don't know. I've never seen that before. Maybe something to do with the power. Where's the baby? Okay. Um, this is a bit strange. What? Oh, no. What's strange? Nothing to worry about or anything. Huh? -huh. Trouble finding the baby all of a sudden. Yeah. Maybe the machine messed up. Possibly. Yeah. But I can still see everything else. It's yeah. It's just not picking up the baby for some reason. Just not the baby. H have this ever happened before? Oh, gosh, that's crazy. Um. Don't lie to her. Well, sometimes babies can move into certain positions that are hard to see. Yeah. But. But. <laughs> But you can't see my baby at I don't think all? she can feel the baby anymore I'm either. Looking. Don't worry. He, he's definitely here. She, she probably feels it. Like She's like, wait a minute. You know what? Feel right. Why don't we just see if we can borrow another machine, okay? There yeah. has to be something wrong with this That's one. Creepy I'll be right as hell, back. Yo. Um, That's creepy as hell. I've never seen something like that before. That's wild. <laughs> Tiffany Chris, school teacher, 29. What happened to her? What if she was one of the, the thought form people? The individuals, the visitors. Humanity. You gotta do me like that, man. The baby. The baby did something. The baby did something. Okay, so. What do you guys think happened here? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I, I like, I honestly think maybe. I honestly think maybe the girl. Maybe, maybe the girl. Maybe she was one of the thought forms, maybe. Or maybe. I really don't know, y'all. I, I have no theories right now. Right now we're watching the Great Luck videos. I really don't know. Not here, not now, not anymore. So may, maybe she was an experiment. Maybe she was one of the thought forms. Maybe. Maybe she went to go to that facility. Can remember how they were taking patients? Maybe she was a patient. Let's go, y'all. Humanity was still tireless.
passed through a great many trials of intellectual fortitude to achieve New York City, 1981. A girl, a girl, countless men, withered away and dying in pursuit of, leaving their towers of work behind to be climbed by coming generations. Higher and higher they ascend, so that we were the last reach the one he called God. And there, on his apex of infinite knowledge and power, we will approach and look him in the eye. As an equal. What in the deep blue hell, y'all? <laughs> That that shit wasn't Dolby Digital, okay? It gave me the shiver timbers. Let me do that again. Jesus Christ. Coming generations. Higher and higher they ascend. So we were the last I wasn't expecting that. God. And there, on his apex of infinite knowledge and power, we will approach and look him in the eye. That's an equal. It sounds like it's in the back of my head when it's... Sim Simeon D. Back. User. Like I said? Enhanced version. Alright. Okay. Welcome back. Person. User. Frank Porter. Please enter your credentials. Okay. Credential requirement bypassed by system administrator. Greetings. No user ID. Welcome to Simeodyne USA's Virtual Message Assistant, for user. Project Director, Frank Porter. Establishing custom telephone message settings. Sender, Paul Morelli, of. The Morelli Construction and Mining Company. Dates of receipt ranging from. March 24th, 1987, to. March 30th, 1987. Sender, Paul Morelli. Beginning playback of your messages. Message 1. March 24th, 11.14 a.m. Hey Frank, it's Paul Morello. We ran into somewhat of an issue today. We came across these tunnels inside the mountain, pretty deep in, but uh, well, this is gonna sound a little crazy, but he told me to call if anything strange came up, and uh, I figured this qualifies. Okay. People have been here before. Some obviously man-made shit in there, like carvings and stone. This shit looks ancient, like real old. I took a crew in to look through it, but since part of the tunnels caved in some time ago, we're gonna just have to bust through it regardless. But I still wanted to make you aware of it. Anyway, I'll keep you moving. Thanks. See, I don't mess with all that. I, I just Message leave it alone. Two. Just leave it alone. March 25th, just leave it alone. AM. Our next message. Hey, Frank, it's Paul. Just call to tell you the day might be a bit slower than usual. 7 a.m. Unfortunately, a number of the crew are sick as dogs. Not, uh, not really sure what kind of stomach bugs going around or what, but we That's do our best to pick up slack. I'm calling in some guys who have a day off, so uh, hopefully things will get a little closer to normal, you know? That being said, I don't know how the hell this happened, but... They got cursed! The tunnel here caved in is clear. They got Tell cursed! Wired up with a few lights, too. Wanted to see if maybe you sent someone in while we were off shift. Night crew said you didn't, but, you know, I didn't see anybody else either, so... But a few of the guys said they seen something running around in the woods surrounding the site. I think it's probably a deer or whatever, but deer. seeing all the ruckus we're making out here, you know? Yeah. But they all insisted it was something else. Something like a, a real tall man. Might just be some environmentalist moron trying to cause some shit, but, you know, he ain't done nothing, so I told him to keep focused on the project. My worst nightmare! Said, we're going to avoid the tunnel until I hear back from you. All right, right now. A big... Tall man. Message three. Ten March foot tall. PM. That same day, the same day, but hey, four Frank, it's Paul again. Okay, Paul. The guy you sent out to take photos just left, but uh well, he seemed totally fine when he got here, but in fact we had to carry him back to his car when he was done. I don't know if he caught whatever's going around, but figured you should know. Also we found some really old shit down there, Frank. Now I ain't no historian, but we got a guy on the crew who used to do archaeology work or whatever, mm -hmm. and I don't know. But I guess there's some old artifacts down there, like weapons and trinkets and whatever. I'll have him draft up a report for you and send it your way, because I feel like he'd be interested, and he can explain all this shit better than I could anyways. His name's Arnold Rivers. 
that's about it. Morning rivers. Bye. Four fifty-six p.m. Four. My bad, y'all. March twenty-six. Next day. PM. The next day, y'all. Frank, something ain't right here. Crew's getting worse, more sick. I, I feel okay so far, but I, I don't know how long that's gonna last. I saw that thing the guys have been talking about. Shit. Last night, stalking around in the tree line. I swear it had a face. Oh no, sir. Uh, anyways, just just call me back as soon as you can, Frank. Bye, Kondios. March twenty seventh, twelve ten p.m. All our food is rotten. Totally spoiled and covered in maggots. It was perfectly fine and stored. There wasn't any problems with the generator. Even if we lost power, I mean it's the end of March. All our food looks like it's been left out in the heat for weeks. No idea what's going on. Please call me back. Message six. March twenty seventh, four oh two p.m. It's Paul. Hey, Paul. We saw it again. Something out here with us. I it, told you. It's, it's, and it's, it's watching us, goddammit. It ain't no animal either. Who are you guys gonna put up those fancy hunting cameras and see if we can catch anything? Maybe locals fucking with us? I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Are we gonna get we'll footage? Anyways, I, I just... <laughs> Motion detected, y'all. Here we go, y'all. Here we go, here we go. Shh. Message 7. Date and time unavailable. I'm not giving up just yet. There's something going on here. Hold on. Nice and slow. Let's slow it down. How about that? Let's slow it down just to see. Because it said motion detected. Okay. Let's see. What do you guys see? Nothing. Damn. Damn. How is this? Okay, let's see. See, look, motion detected, but where though? Where? Where? Unless it knocked the camera down from the from the side. Yeah, like we don't see nothing. It's like a shadow here, but I, it doesn't really look like a person. And he said that it's like a tall man just lurking through the trees. All right, <laughs> let's see what happens, y'all. You guys good? You guys ready? Let's see what's up. Yo, Narnia Sky, what's up? Just finished that Baba Duke Visage episode right now. Oh, snap. I don't want to play anymore. I don't want to play. I hope you guys are enjoying the stream. Remember, we're going to be playing the Mortuary Assistant after we're done with our analog all over. Let's go, y'all. Let's go. Okay. Sorry, y'all. Okay, let's go back. Okay, so... The camera number three got some motion. Message like, seven. Really shows Date and time unavailable. Message <laughs> three. Oh, wait, we got some more. We got some more, y'all. We got some more. This is on camera two. What is that? Fog? Somebody's hair? Message eight. March 29th. 10.13 p.m. Frank. Yeah, Paul. Paul. Hey, Paul. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, what's up? Well, a lot of the crew here is sick now, and they're sort of like oh, unresponsive. We tried emergency contacts for them, but now they just keep ringing. Oh, the phones, they just, they just kept ringing and ringing and ringing. Nobody picked up from any number we tried. Nobody picked up. No answer machines either. I need to call the hospital and the same thing. Just ringing. Just tried 911, still nothing. I figured the phones were fucked up, but. You try it, Star 67. He's going crazy, yo. He's going crazy. Exactly what I told you. That's what I told you. I, I, I won't leave like it alone. I need to figure out what's down there. I think whatever's down there could help my crew. But most of all, I feel like 
something really bad's gonna happen if I don't go down, so I'll be going down tonight. <laughs> You heard him? Oh my god! That's what he said. Okay, here we go. Look, we're back on camera too. What do we see? What do we see? We see orbs. Wait, what's going on? Oh! It has a camouflage, y'all. You see that? Look. The camo look at that. Message nine. March twentieth. Time unavailable. That's crazy. <laughs> You guys, think he, you guys think he found help down there? No new messages? What do you mean by that? <laughs> Authorities continue to... That shit, have, that shit put me in the fighting guard pose for a quick second. Okay, let's see what the... Okay, so look, guys. So, we saw that it camouflages. Let's... All right, this one's called Back to Normal. Are things really getting back to normal again? I hope so. This one's about 90 seconds long, y'all. Let's go. Authorities continue to investigate the recent crime wave that swept across northern Berkshire County. Oh, yeah, the 49 Many people of killed, In a right? state of anxiety and panic. It was two weeks ago when the emergency broadcast system was engaged to warn residents to secure their homes due to the activity of a group of individuals who had yeah. been targeting and breaking into people's homes. Authorities have since confirmed that the attacks were, in fact, part of an organized criminal effort and have been so attributed by to random an anti-American militia group operating out of western Massachusetts called... Police have made numerous arrests in connection to militia and officials continue to release statements to assure the public that they are safe once again. We've seen a lot of credible information over the past couple of weeks, and the investigation is still ongoing. We'll get closer and closer by the day. Thankfully, due to the continued efforts of law enforcement, life has been able to return back to normal. Back, back yeah, to yeah, normal. Yeah. To no back to normal. To normal. To normal. To normal. To normal. to normal for residents of Berkshire County. Liar! Okay, guys. This one is the last tape for the Greylock series. I don't know if it's going to be another new one, but this is the last one that are, that's uploaded right now. This one was posted three days ago. Three days ago, y'all. Three yeah, that was weird as hell, guys. That was weird as hell. I believe they covered it up. I believe maybe maybe they already live among us. Among us. Remember, this thing came from the army themselves, the government. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I hope you guys are ready. This was called uh, Old Odd End. Old Odd Ends. A little tongue twister. 17 minutes long. Hope you guys are ready. Hope you guys get the snacks. You guys good? Let's do this, y'all. Let's do this. Hi. Right. Well, that broadcast went completely tits up, didn't it? 
I've been getting chewed out by our asshole CIA liaison for the past two hours. CBS what executive. the fuck happened? We're looking into it, sir, but we experienced new issues with the broadcast in our end, so our engineers believe that the signal... These all look super AI-generated in a great, spooky way. ...from the receiving phone calls from viewers, we switched to a backup transmitter. But by then, the hijacker had already said everything they wanted to say, hadn't they? Mm, yes, sir. What a complete fuck-up. They made us look like a fucking joke. Dang. And sure, our most popular show... Speaking of which, Don, where the fuck is he? I can't get hold of him, and he needs to get in here and read a statement to help clean up this fucking mess. Uh, well, we've been trying to reach him. We've Leave. called him multiple times. We've tried his picture. We've asked around to see if anyone's heard from him, but nothing. Right now we've got Gerald standing in for him tonight. If Don doesn't show. <sighs> You've been to his house? Uh, well, no, I just thought that maybe he'd, he'd be upset if I did that. So. Get in your fucking car and go to his fucking house! Damn. I don't care if you kick down his front door and drag him here by his ear. You bring him into the studio. Do you understand? Yes, Mr. Rosen, Why course, is he such a douche? You know, right There's some real powerful people depending on us right now. They need us to manage the response to these events to let the public know what's going on, and the last thing we need is it going wider than it already fucking has. So do what you need to do, or I'm going to replace you with some producers who actually know how to produce a fucking show! Sorry, the file you are trying to access has been destroyed and can no longer be executed or retrieved. Please choose another file. Sorry, sorry, you said I'll take my file and the trying to destroy my trying. Sorry, oh, this per- Warning, anomalous file detected. This file should not exist. Are you sure you wish to proceed? Opening file. Arnold Rivers personal log. Final. Fuck, like I'm in the Matrix. Eugene Rivers. Oh, Arnold Rivers. April 8th, 1987. About a quarter past nine at night. I was involved in the Morelli construction project at Mount Greylock. I was hired due to my background in anthropology and archaeology. I've worked to excavate a number of different historical sites. Mm -hmm. Paul Morelli took me on after securing a government contract for the Greylock project. Rest in peace, Paul. I'm recording this because I believe my life is in danger, and I likely don't have a lot of time left, so I need to leave some kind of record of my findings. On March 24th, our crew came across tunnels in the mountain that have a go, multitude of ancient markings and artifacts. On March 25th, Paul cleared the interior of the mountain and asked me, accompanied by a small crew, to look through the tunnels and record notes on what I was able to recognize. I was then to report to one of the project directors, named Frank Porter, to offer my perspective on our findings. I kept this to myself at the time, but what we discovered in that mountain was... Not normal. Not only did I see the impact it was having on the crew, but certain aspects of my findings did not make any sense. Many of the artifacts were pre-colonial. Some were from Native American tribes, but mm -hmm. there were other artifacts. Some were so American, and others were shockingly Clovis in nature. Finding Clovis artifacts here means that People have been coming to Mount Greylock since at least 11,000 BCE. BCE. But that's not all, no. There are artifacts I found that could potentially be from even earlier Paleo-American cultures that we have yet to even begin studying. Then there were artifacts and writings left by the cultures that were pre-Columbian in nature. Transoceanic contacts prior to Columbus reaching the Americas has always been largely a theory, but, but the artifacts in this mountain, they, they prove it. Ancient Chinese, Arabic, Indian, Roman, Spanish, Viking, even ancient Greek and Egyptian. Damn. Our findings that they alone would change world history as we know it today. I'll admit, the anthropologist in me was thrilled. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I figured it had to be a hoax, but I'm confident that it's all authentic. Yeah, but now my you know. excitement was soon replaced with a looming fear and anxiety. How could such a place be so important to so many cultures for so long? There must be something immense here. 
Whatever it was, well, that's why I left the project. The tunnels all connected to a series of chambers deep into the interior of the mountain. That's where the majority of the relics were found. There were old baskets of herbs and spices, pottery, weapons and armor, talismans, other religious items, countless other things. But all of it was there purposely as offerings. A detailed look into how our Earth's moon into how our Earth's moon came to be. Nine o'clock, we got GBS News. Ten o'clock, we got night hiking at Mount Greylog. It was billions <laughs> of years ago, when our planet was still mostly fire and rock, that a Mars-sized planet that had been drifting through our solar system collided directly with the Earth. The impact was so powerful and violent that the rogue planet was blown into countless pieces of debris. This debris collected to form our moon. Many of the pieces of the unknown planet remain inside the moon to this day. Mom? Adam, police department, dispatcher Carey speaking. Um, yes, I'm calling to report a break-in at my co-worker's house. What is your name, sir? My name is Liam Holland. Liam Holland. Okay, Liam, you said this was your co-worker's house. What is your co-worker's Look. address? Ah, uh, it's uh, Parker. Parker, okay, okay. Parker Hill Road in Adams, uh, number 491. 491 Parker Hill Liam was the guy that was right? getting yelled at earlier. Okay, can you tell me, is anybody hurt? Liam, are you still with me? Yes, sorry. Is anybody hurt? Yes. Then I witnessed many altars constructed out of the mountain stone, along with evidence of mass animal and human sacrifice. Oh, yeah. We out. And the carvings in the walls of the Mount. sacrificial chambers. I couldn't recognize a single familiar symbol. Mount. And it, it made me sick to even look at them. Let me be clear. I am not, nor have I ever been, a religious man. But there's something in that mountain. Some evil shit, bro. Something people of countless cultures uh -huh. over the history of our planet have been worshipping, but I don't know why. But I could feel it. Whatever's down there, I could feel it. It was like being trapped in a fever dream. In a fever dream. I swear I could hear a voice and even felt compelled to go further to speak to whatever's down there i don't i, I don't know i i haven't been right since i now uh -huh. hearing this droning in my head droning in my head Jesus, all day and night i i can't sleep just droning always droning but, but that, that doesn't matter right now I informed Mr. Porter in my report that the archaeological findings in the mountain are of monumental historical importance and that there is certainly more to be discovered. And I recommended discontinuing construction yes, there. Yes, immediately. But it's not as though I have any authority over this project. Never mind. I fully expected to be ignored. Mr. Porter called me on the evening of March 28th and we spoke on the phone briefly. It was as I thought. He disregarded my concerns. I informed him that I wasn't going to return to the site. He insisted I did, said I was a valuable asset to the project, even offered me a substantial raise. Damn, and how much? He me to lead a specifically organized team that would clear the tunnels of artifacts before excavation would continue. I, quote unquote, could be responsible for the biggest historical finding of all time, he said. This guy. I refuse again. I won't put a price on my sanity or my health. Fast. Especially after seeing what was happening to the crew. Mm -hmm. Now loading. Morali Greylock event. Group C. Survivor data. Profile for patient B3590. Rockford. Thomas. Thomas. Rockford. Al formations. Notes. Communicative. Patient prone to spontaneous violent outbursts. 
Treatment of heavy sedation recommended. Only communicate while patient is restrained or via intercom. Now loading. Profile for patient. B9231. Washington. Samuel. Samuel. Taking eight, Malformations. Malformations? Notes. Communicative. Patient suffers from constant state of severe paranoia and delusions, resulting in unpredictable violent outbursts. Standard treatment ineffective. High dose xylazine is recommended. Only communicate while patient is restrained or via intercom. Re1. Washington, Samuel. Site B651. Okay. Informations. Let me see, look at that. Notes. That's some creep. Mm -mm. Communicative. Patient suffers from constant state of severe paranoia and delusions, resulting in unpredictable violent outbursts. Okay. Standard treatment ineffective. High dose xylazine is recommended. Only communicate while patient is restrained or via intercom. Now loading. Profile for patient. B6670. Herrera, Ramon. Oh, my tío Ramon! What are you doing, my tío? Oh, my tío Ramon. Uncommunicative. <laughs> patient appears to be in catatonic state. Warning, patient may sit up very suddenly, without provocation, to project a vomit at any staff in area. Patient's vomit is extremely corrosive and emits nerve gas. Oh, All no, treatments okay. ineffective. Studies must be conducted with full anti-corrosive gear and air purifying respirator equipped on all staff involved. Now loading. Profile for patient. B8816. Charles Fleming. Charles. Now formations. Oh no. Oh Notes. my god! Uncommunicative. Warning. Patient will attack on site. Do not interact. Immunity to pain. Patient exhibits cannibalistic tendencies. All Is treatments ineffective. Is Immediate euthanasia recommended. Now loading. Profile for patient. B4041. Oakhurst, Scott. I seem like a cool guy, you know. Seems like a positive dude. Smiling all the time. Okay. Notes. Communicative. <laughs> Communicate with caution. Warning. Patient actively pretends to be benevolent and friendly. Strong homicidal and cannibalistic tendencies. Killed and partially consumed six staff members on April 6th, 87. Patient laughed hysterically during the attack. All treatments ineffective. Immediate euthanasia or permanent restraint for further study recommended. That's the guy Malady. that killed those people? Profile for patient. B7992. Okay. Edward Kowalski. Kowalski. Eduardo, how are you doing, bro? Alpha Alpha having a good time? Oh, sweet. Jesus. Notes. Communicative. Hazardous. Warning. Patient possesses inhuman power of suggestion and influence over others. Do not interact. All treatments ineffective. Immediate euthanasia recommended. Now loading. Profile for patient. B1584. No okay. Rafferty, no more, John. Rafferty. Does he still have the mustache, though? He doesn't. Uncommunicative. Hazardous. Patient appears to be deceased. He's dead. No vital signs. Patient's body not decomposing. decomposing Warning. Already. Staff have become ill after even brief time spent in patient's room. Illness disregards protective suiting. Immediate quarantine required for all victims. Mortality rate post exposure currently 92%. Survivor subject to rapid physical and mental malformations. All treatments ineffective. Immediate remote euthanasia recommended. I consider myself incredibly lucky to not be in that Arnold. condition right now. Oddly, he would have accepted my second refusal. Wished me luck in my future endeavors. But before I could say anything else, he'd he hung up. But it seemed I'd made the right choice. I heard something awful happened up in Mount Greylock. And then simultaneously, there are all of these things that have been happening around the mountain. The home invasions, the dead bodies that fell from the sky over Cheshire, the yeah. pregnancy phenomena, the so prince. many other unexplainable things. Remember the oh. must be related. All the babies were disappearing. And I've been trying to figure out how. I've connected with a local investigator crazy, who's been trying to get to the bottom of this. I've shared with him everything I have, though I feel that I've been being watched. I feel a looming threat that I can't really explain. Would the government really send someone to kill me over this? I feel like I'm paranoid, like I've lost some of my mind. But I came home from the grocery store the other day and my front door was unlocked. And I know I had locked it before I left. 
I scanned my entire house for traces of anything, but found nothing out of the ordinary. I even checked and replaced all of the light bulbs. Huh? Oh, God. Saying it out loud like this yeah. makes me realize how crazy I sounded. I'm like, hold on. I've always been a rational man. There's a logical explanation behind everything. Well, I'm glad that I put all of this into a recording. Me Perhaps too, man. that was what I needed to snap me out of this. You'll be good, Arnold. Honestly, Don't worry, bro. I feel much better just talking about it. <gasps> this can't be. Oh, my God. That's a basement door. No, 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 no. no. Uh, don't tell me you got some footage. Don't tell me you got some damn footage, bro. Did he get some footage? Look here. I'm inside my bedroom closet. I'm going to keep the tape recorder running, and I'm hiding in here with my files. If something happens to me, and you'll find any tapes or files somehow, please bring it to the investigator, Jim Malcolm North Adams. That goes for this video footage as well. You hear that? Footsteps? What's he doing? Watching his hands? No. No. Nah. Nah. It's lying. Nah. He's hurt him? Help me. No, nah, that's not it. That's him. That's a thing. That's not people. That's how they tricks you. It's like the mimic. It could even mimic radio sounds, y'all. That's crazy. Okay, we're okay, we're okay. My boy Arnold. That's birds. Come on out, it's the police. <laughs> Get me out of here. Was that the last tape? Great googly moogly. Yeah, that was the last tape. That was the last tape for now. That was three days ago. Oh my gosh. What you guys thought about that? That was nasty. So now we know that whatever that thing is, the creature or whatever, is it like a mutation or is that the, the thoughts, the thought forms, the, the, the what's it call it? The, um... The ones that, that weren't completed. What was it? What was it called again? They call them the uh sheesh. Not the thought form, but the right here, look, right here. These things right here. Malformations. There you go. Yeah, malformations. Malformations. Those things, I guess they got out or something. Something. But what where did it come from originally? Cause remember that when they opened up that cave, there was some sort of like 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 religious so uh, it, it could be a curse, but remember what they said that that they were able to like do like an out of body ex, ex, like a uh, how you say like like meditation and dreams and stuff. They they called it ghosts, but in reality it was just like your your memories. I don't know. So I don't know. Maybe back in the day they used to do that, and then all their their ghosts came out and they just stayed in that cave and they got out. I don't know. I really don't know. And maybe the army is using that as a weapon because they were able to build a chair exactly like that.